Okay, so YouTube says we're live, and let's see if... Okay, it looks like YouTube is giving us video. And welcome to Faith Vocals and my very first, uh, my very first stream. Let me adjust one thing really quick here. I forgot to put my earphones on. Maybe that's a Ricky uh, first stream mistake. So I'm going to get those in so I can hear the game audio. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I heard the click when I played the menu. Get some wood here. And I thought for this uh, first stream, while uh, while uh, I'm still getting used to the uh, the act of streaming and uh, playing games while talking at the same time and not being seen by anyone yet, uh, that I'd go ahead and chat about what my plans for the channel are. Uh, and kind of what I'm thinking as I'm doing this first stream. Obviously starting off with some Minecraft uh, content here. Uh, that's probably a good safe choice, right? Lots of people uh, enjoy watching Minecraft these days. Uh, so as a brand new streamer, uh, my goal is to make this the most boring, uh, least interesting least entertaining video you're going to see on the uh on the channel of course that comes with the goal of being as interesting as i possibly can uh given the the minimal uh practice that i've had so far uh want to mention as a as a new player the as a uh, new streamer i don't have a lot of polish yet as you probably noticed i'm using a lot of us and uh, things that I hope will buff out over time as I get more practice uh, and all oh, good sticks uh, so hope you'll bear with me obviously I'm hoping I'm especially hoping that you don't discover this video until I have uh, had enough practice that it'll just be fun for you guys to see where I started uh, which should be horrible compared to where I am when you next find me. I want to get some of these oak saplings. Oaks are my favorite trees in Minecraft because I can grow lots of them and they get me apples so uh, those are great. May as well get more wheat seeds also. There we go. And uh, pardon me while I get my train of thought again hard managing two trains of thought at one time, you know? So right now as I'm uh, starting out, I'm not really expecting a lot of myself. I don't have a streaming schedule in mind. Uh, don't have... Uh, you'll probably notice I don't have a face cam. Uh, not worrying about a lot of... Uh, a lot of extra details at this point that are, are going to require more of me. It's just hard enough for me to talk and play at the same time. Uh, once I get that figured out, then maybe I can add some of the more uh, complicated elements uh, to this process. Uh, there's a... Uh, see, I've, I've been a, a perfectionist as I've uh, grown up and uh, looking for some good farmland here. Oh, and there's a broken, uh, a ruined uh, portal or something over there. I'm not sure what the official name for those are. I don't tend to play in, uh, this is the newest uh, snapshot at the time of this recording. This snapshot would be uh, 20W46A, uh, if I'm getting that right. Yeah, it's up in the, uh, up in the corner of my window here, 20W46A. Thought you might want to see some of the... Uh, the snapshot that's uh, preparing for the uh, 1.17 version of Minecraft where they're going to be introducing Amethyst and Powdered Snow, the Caves and Cliffs update. Okay, we've got some potential farmland here. I would like to see some water that's level with the land around it, but if I, if I can't find out that, uh, then I may be able to adapt. Really, what's more important is finding a good place to mine. Oh, that looks like great farmland. Uh, okay, so... 
Of course, as I go through a few of these streams, I'll figure out my verbal tics that I want to get rid of, like ums and so's. I, as I've uh, been growing up, I've been a uh, perfectionist. It gets in the way of a lot of my creative endeavors. I set out to do something great, and then I uh, try it out. It doesn't turn out so great. I get disappointed, and I stop doing it. And I'd like to avoid that this time. Uh, one of the things that I've been considering lately is you consider all of the, uh, the great doers of history, the people who were masters at their craft. And, of course, they didn't start out as great doers. Uh, they started out where, uh, where we all start out with absolutely no knowledge of the craft. When we're infants, when we're newborns, we don't have any knowledge of uh, all the things that we're going to become proficient at uh, as we grow up. And how do we overcome that as infants? What do we do to get from absolutely no knowledge or proficiency uh, to becoming masters at our, our favorite uh, activities. And where we start out is we just flail our arms and legs around. That's all we've got. That's all we can do. We just flail our arms and legs around. We don't even know that we've got arms and legs. So uh, just flip an arm this way, th flip an, a leg the other way. We just do what we can with what little we have. And that's enough. Uh, so eventually we realize, hey, I've got these appendages that I can move around. Maybe I can move them in a certain direction. Uh, we haven't got the, the uh, muscles built right yet. Our, our brain connections are not fully made yet. About time I made myself a workbench. Actually, before I do that, I want to kind of plan where I'm going to mine. I like to just dig down uh, two squares side by side, straight down, and then uh, work out what I'm doing with the mine after that. So, probably somewhere around here, unless I can find a cave. A cave is a nice way to go about mining. Um, this might be a decent spot to to mine. It's a nice low point and I tend to like to put my uh, my mind start next to an edge for some reason. Not sure if that's the best way to go about it, but I, I think I'll just call this the location for my mind. Uh, so as babies, we finally realize we've got these arms and legs. We try to control them, but we don't have the mental connections to do that. We don't have the muscle control to do that. Haven't built up the uh, fine motor movement, but uh, so we jerk in. That's where my mind's going to be. We jerk in the direction that we want to go. So it's not very pretty. It's uh, still largely out of control, but it's enough. We have uh, more pr proficiency than we have. We had before. We actually know we've got arms and legs now, and we're trying to do something with them. And as we keep uh, jerking our arms and legs around, eventually we develop some of those brain connections. Eventually we develop that uh, muscle control and we begin to smooth out our motions and our arms and legs actually go in the directions we want them to and we can start thinking beyond just moving what we have and uh, start thinking about what we can do with them and eventually we grow up and some of us become athletically proficient uh, some of us play beautiful instruments some of us can write pretty well on the computer can type at 100 words per minute or something like that uh, a lot of us become gamers and even, even what I'm doing now, which really isn't that impressive, uh, it's not like playing Minecraft by itself really benefits society in any significant way other than to entertain you guys when I put it on the streams. But if I were not, uh, streaming or recording this, this would be of no, uh, societal benefit, but hey, it's a lot better than just flailing my arms and legs around. But that's where I started, and uh, that's what got me here, so that's pretty good. Uh, so that's the uh, the concept I've been looking at. I've kind of uh, played with calling it flailing forward. 
There's another concept called failing forward. Uh, I did not coin that one. That one's the idea of uh, you uh, just come up with failures. You don't be afraid of failures. You learn from your failures and you just try stuff. And it's kind of along the same lines of what I'm thinking. Just try stuff until you get some success going. Um, you're, and if you don't hit that success immediately, it's a learning experience. You chalk it up to experience. So this is the start of my farm and obviously it's a bit late to really get it developed. I've got 10 wheat seeds. Can I get these out of my inventory really quick before the uh, monsters come out? And then I would like to have the full benefit of uh, all the dirt that's available here. You can farm as far away as four blocks from the edge of the water. On a corner, I tend to be able to get more like five blocks. So, okay, that's all the wheat that was in my inventory. I am calling it quits and running from the oncoming monsters. There's my mine. And if you stand on the, the line between these blocks, you can mine down safely and you uh, get some warning in case there's something non-ideal about the arrangement. And the way I have the lighting set up, I believe I set it to be bright. I usually play on moody, but I realized that for the streams, uh, you might want to be able to see what I'm doing during the night when I'm in the mine, uh, mines and caves. So, you're welcome. Um, trying to get back to, to where I was with the uh, conversation. So, feeling forward is uh, go ahead and fail. It's fine. You're going to learn from the experience. We're going, you're going to do better the next time you try the thing. And, uh, oh, cool. Cave down there. Let me get good and armed up. Uh, and then maybe you'll be better prepared after your failure and uh, more successful, more creative. You'll have uh, an advantage over those who maybe got to the place you did but didn't fail at all. You'll actually know what to watch out for. Need another set of sticks here. There's some planks to use. Okay. But then flailing forward is kind of the other side of that. It's it's kind of like be content with what you have. Don't think about... And, and the, this is where it came from. I found a uh, YouTube video. I think the channel's name is Better Every Day. He was talking about... If I'm remembering correctly, he was talking about how he taught himself to do difficult things. To, to enjoy doing difficult things. And one of the things he was saying is don't set goals uh, thinking about what you don't have and want because you kind of, there's copper here, you kind of set yourself up to, uh, kind of set yourself up for failure. You're saying I'm, I'm not adequate, uh, need to get adequate. You're, you're demotivated uh, early on thinking about what you're not and then, but if you're thinking, no, I'm already what I need for this goal. I'm doing this goal because I can, not because there's something I can't or something I don't have. Well, then you're not only motivated to do the goal, but you're not thinking about the end point, which you can't really control how soon you get to that end point. I think I want to use the cobblestone to bridge my way across here. I like to go around the oars because sometimes when you mine around the ores, uh, then you you find out that there's more ore in the immediate vicinity like this iron here. This was not planned, obviously, but it's convenient. And I like to mine out, ah, I like to mine out the higher uh, ores because it's easier to dig down than to dig up. I'm going to have to kind of go laterally here. Um, so anyway, if you're setting out with, this is what I can do. This is what I'm able, uh, this is my ability. This is, I I'm going to use my ability. Then you're more motivated to keep on uh, going about your goals rather than 
setting out with this is what I don't have I need to get then you may find that it's a bit slower than you expected uh, getting to the point that you were hoping for and, and maybe you get disappointed and maybe you say ah oh, this isn't working for me and I want to uh, quit and you can always quit but you can always use your skills to do the other thing too and and that keeps you more motivated so flailing forward at the very least you can flail your arms and legs and that eventually for all of us gets us amazing places when you think about it so i think that's kind of motivational it doesn't take more than i have to to get where uh i hope to be to get where god's made me to be where god's designed me to get to all i have to do is use what i currently have so that's what i'm planning with the stream as i am completely new with this i don't really set up expectations for myself about see these ores just keep cropping up I don't set expectations for myself about how often I should be streaming or how many viewers I ought to have or, or things like that. At least I hope not. I'm, I'm still getting used to this not being a perfectionist thing. But I can play Minecraft and I can click some buttons, which is what it took to open the OBS software and start streaming. And uh, I've been flailing for a while and got to the point where I could... Uh, set this up and start my first stream and start talking to you guys off the top of my head. Hope I haven't been too rambly. And uh, if I have, I'm sure that will work itself out as I develop the mental connections I need in order to do this. I mean, I, as I've been going already, I think I'm a little bit smoother about talking and playing at the same time. So uh, we're developing. By the way, uh, let me know if this... Uh, if this way of mining that I like to do ever becomes annoying to you, I realize streaming games is part about, partly about keeping it interesting for the audience. So that is what I want to aim for. And if that means knocking out the ores where I see them so that we're not spending so much time gathering cobblestone, uh, then uh, you let me know and I'll adapt my playstyle. Try to be a better Minecrafter, huh? Because I am not going to claim that I am the best at this game. And uh, I'll quickly say I am not an architect and I am not a uh, redstone engineer. I'm just a miner and a crafter. And uh, I'm lucky if I ever get to the end. Uh, nether, I've never even been to the end outside of creative mode. When it first uh, was added to the game, then I uh, visited it in creative mode beat the, the ender dragon in creative mode. That's not that hard. <laughs> and I uh, haven't been able to do it in uh, in survival yet. Usually what happens, I, I enjoy playing modded Minecraft. So playing the new snapshot is almost like playing modded Minecraft. It's that feeling of uh, experiencing something new but my uh my general play style is uh playing as if the as if i'm in the old minecraft ah, that i had when uh when i first started playing the game there's been a lot of updates over the years since i first started playing okay gotta figure out how to get i probably shouldn't be breaking blocks when i don't know how to get up there but I'll figure it out. Okay, lost my train of uh, thought again. That's what falling from a enormous height will do to you. I think I was on the idea of being becoming a better Minecrafter because I have been playing Minecraft for all of these years, but I've basically been playing the same year over and over and over again because I keep trying out new mods. This time we're playing a normal version. I hope a, a more accessible version to those who are new, for the, new to the channel. Maybe you'll be familiar with uh, some of what I'm doing. Maybe this will be 
if you've been following the news lately, Minecraft, uh, Minecraft Live and all that, you'll be uh, familiar with uh, with uh, things. You'll be excited for the things that uh, we're going to find in the uh, snapshots. Have I been up here? Okay, this, yeah, of course I've been up here because I like to travel up when I get into a cave. Try to find all of the accesses to the surface when I can. And then that's what I'm looking for as water because I would like to make a bucket and get to the surface and I've got some iron, so let us do that. I'm going to... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I ought to make any uh, torches. I think I'll save that for now. I don't think anything is going to attack me while I'm working on this and if it does, we'll find out. I have uh, set this version of the game so that uh, if I get killed, no title st screen, I just go straight to spawn and I keep my items because it's so frustrating when you lose your items and I am flailing forward. I am taking the easy road until I figure this all out. Uh, so I am not going to do something frustrating that's going to make me want to rage quit uh, during the stream. And then uh, maybe we can come back and play without, uh, without those special features and try to beat the Ender Dragon a second time after, after I've done it the first time in survival. Have I got, yes, I've got enough for a bucket. I don't remember exactly where I was, but I think you guys get the idea. Um, I am not polished. I am still practicing. This is my first day go easy on me <laughs> and uh, maybe the idea of flailing forward will be useful to you if you are a perfectionist who wants to start projects and such and my goal for this uh, for this channel for Faith Vocals uh, by the way I'm not sure if it's clear my name is Faith Faith Vocals is intended to be the channel where I express my point of view uh, and that is that is the main point. I want to get my point of view out there. And I happen to be playing Minecraft because playing Minecraft is fun for me. It's rewarding. And starting a new YouTube channel is a little bit nerve-wracking for me. So why not do something that's going to get me distracted? It's going to be fun. I need video anyway, so why not do something that's going to be fun for you guys to watch? And then I can do the main thing. See, this is why I need a water bucket. I don't know if this is new to you or if you knew this was what I was going to do. Okay, we're back at the surface. And the ocean update really makes that easy because I think it makes you swim faster. Uh, so thank you, Mojang. Uh, so playing Minecraft, playing games... Hope it's exciting for you guys to watch, but mostly the reason I'm doing it is so that I am thinking less about how other people will be hearing my voice and all my mistakes and stuff. I'm just keeping my mind on something that I'm familiar with. 